Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a rainbow cocktail. Now, it's a bit of a reverse rainbow because the colors will be inverse to what you would normally see. However, it's really, really simple and easy, and we have to make it in two parts. So the first part requires that we grab a glass. Now, I'm using a mixing glass because it has a pour spout, which makes pouring absolutely easy. The first ingredient that we're going to use is a little bit of white rum. Now I'm using Bacardi white rum here and we're going to use a total of one ounce or 30 milliliters. The second part of this step is a little bit of red Powerade. Now you can use red Gatorade if you want. However, it's totally up to you for what you prefer between the two. Yeah, just have to remember there's a lot of sugar in this. This is why we're actually diluting it with our white spirit to actually change the density of the fluid and we need one ounce or 30 milliliters. Now that you've done this, all you have to do is just sort of mix it or agitate it a bit. You can do that with a spoon, but you know what, just give it a bit of a swirl. It'll mix perfectly fine. Now, when I talk about fluid density, the more sugar there is in the fluid, the heavier it is. So when you're laying our cocktail, more sugar means it'll sink to the bottom. Now, we are going to fill this with some ice and you just want to take it all the way to the top and go from there. And then you're gonna go back to the rum bottle and you're going to add another ounce or 30 milliliters. And this will be our base layer of alcohol. Your fourth ingredient is orange juice. Now you could use a store-bought orange juice that has lots of sugar in it, totally up to you. I got some fresh pressed orange juice. What you like is totally up to you. And we're going to use a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now, if you look right here, you'll see the separation of the rum and the orange juice. The orange juice having natural sugar actually has a density that is heavier than that of the rum. And that's where you get that separation or the beginnings of the separation, which is exactly what we want to see. Now, your next ingredient is going to be the blue curacao. Now, this is incredibly dense. It's actually one of those very, very, it's probably the densest of the liqueurs that you can get, but we're going to use three quarters of an ounce, which is 22 and a half mils, and we're going to pour it gently down the side using our spoon. And if you look at that, you now get that little bit of a green layer. Fantastic. So, put your lid back on this, and what we will now do is we will add our red layer. And with this pour spout, you can pour it directly on the ice slowly and in a layer. If not, just use your spoon. Look at that. Absolutely gor gor gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You'd think I've drank a few of these while testing this to make sure I got it right. I did. Anyways, having said that, <laughs> what kind of flavors are you expected to get? If you go down straight to the bottom, you're going to get rum and orange. So what you're going to have to do is ruin the colors and give this just a little bit of a mix and try it out. Mm, it's good, you can taste the rum. It's not overly strong. You get a little bit of the orange, a little bit of the Powerade. Absolutely easy to drink. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.